Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up a clan discord server. This is where a lot of your business and a lot of your things with your clan are going to take place. So this is very important. Let's try and get 300 likes on the video. Okay, so obviously the first thing you're going to want to do is click add a server at the bottom of your discord and then create one. Now I have already created this template that I'm going to be going over just as a baseline that you guys can kind of copy. So to start off, I've made these categories that are supposed to di differentiate the different sections of your team. Now I've included categories and channels that are what I think or what you guys should add, but keep in mind that none of this is stuff you have to have. You can branch out, you can add, you can take away from this. You can do whatever you want. This is just a baseline. So the first category is welcome. And in welcome, this is where you're gonna have your welcome and leaving messages. So if you have a bot, you can add a bot. Now in this video, I'm not gonna go into bots, but you can add a bot, it's pretty simple, that lets you know when someone is joined and it welcomes them, and then when someone leaves, and it'll tell you when they leave, and it'll say like goodbye. So that's the welcome category. Now the next category that you want is in the important section. Now the important section is pretty important to say the least. You're gonna wanna have announcements. I've just put this, I put a lot of like text just so you guys get the point. This is where you're gonna wanna have team announcements, Obviously, the higher ups are going to be the ones making announcements. Like if you're releasing a video or you're thanking them for a certain amount of members in your server, stuff like that. You always want to have an announcement server. Then the next one is rules. Rules is literally just where you put rules. So I've just put like rule one, you know, here's where you want to type in all the rules that you're going to have. And the last one and important is social medias. And this is where you're going to want to put the links to your social medias. Now, of course, I didn't actually put them in. I didn't put the time into that. But you can also put like other important stuff like if you have like mod applications if you want people to apply to become a mod or other stuff that you want to put up here that you think is very important to add there now keep in mind that for channels like this you want to make sure that you have the permissions set so that people not no one else can like talk in it you want to make sure that it's you uncheck send messages for everyone and you only want to allow certain people like let's say management to send messages. Now there's not really much you have to do with editing this, but make sure you check the things that you want them to be able to do in this particular channel, so in, in announcements, so that nobody else can just write whatever they want. And that's gonna be the same things for like team and staff, and then welcome and important. These are ones that you don't want anybody to be talking in out of line. You just want this for like the main people like you and then like maybe team members and other staff. That's who you want talking in. Okay. Now the next category is community. Now this is where the bulk of your messages are gonna be in Discord. This is where you want people to engage. So here we have the lounge where I just said, hey, this is where everybody's gonna talk. This is where there's gonna be no restrictions really because people can send memes, pictures, messages. You know, when they wake up, they can say good morning. You can discuss things about the team, all of that. This is where everything's gonna happen with you. Now the next one is commands. Like if you have a bot to play music, you just want to always have a commands uh, thing. You could name it bot commands if you want, but just so that people have places to like put commands if you have any bots. That way it's not just cluttered all around the lounge and everything. The next thing is team promo. This is where you're going to want to make restrictions so that nobody can send messages or attach links or anything except for like, for example, team members, like let's say content creators, you wanna make sure that they're able to send messages and embed links and attach files. That way, the, your team members are able to promote their stuff. Like for example, I could have a team member post their montage so that uh, people when so that the, you know, the community could look and say, oh, this is a montage that a team member made. And that I think is really important. Now, another thing that I threw in there, cause I think it's like a big deal, is adding an idea panel. Now this is where your community can actually give you video ideas and just ideas in general for tweaks to things. Like if they want you to do a series, if they want you to change a, something in the server, if they want you to do something, they can all make suggestions here. This is what I had in my, my old team. It really helped out a lot. They gave us a lot of good video ideas such as like, you know, making Zone Wars videos, stuff like that. You just always wanna have the server where people can put in ideas. This is another one where you, you know, you don't have to have any rules on it, anybody can talk in it. Okay, so the next channel is recruitment. And this is regarding how people can actually join. So I like to add montage submissions and effects submissions. So FX is obviously like GFX and VFX for people that are going to be making videos and making graphics. So 
for example, I said, I want to be an editor. Here's a video. This is an example of what someone could do if someone wants to become a video editor. They can say this and they, and they can add a video that they've edited so that you can see and you can engage with your community and see who what they want to do. So in a YouTube video, you could be like, hey, go in our Discord and submit your montage or your, your edit here so that we can see who wants to be part of the VX uh, team or FX team. And then the same thing for montage for like creative players or comp players. They have a montage or clips that they want to send so that you can judge them and decide if you want to add them to your team. Because you don't want to have a million people DMing you and like asking to join and all that. Because that'll just be like a cluster and it will just be really annoying. You want to make sure it's streamlined and there's a place for everything. So that you don't have people sending links in the lounge and everything like that. Okay, and of course you can add anything here. If you have a video on how to join, you could add that somewhere. You could add a channel called how to join. And then you could just add the link to that video there. That'll make things easier too. Okay, so then we get to voice channels. Now here's where you can go crazy. You can add whatever voice channels you want. I'd added just a general one because I don't really know. This is up to your personal opinion. You can add meetings. You can add, you know, squad channels or yeah, like squad channels so that like if someone wants to say, uh, play a game with some other members, you can allow four people to join and they can play squads or you could make like rooms like oh this uh you know like the penthouse or whatever and only allow high ranked people to join it you can really add whatever voice channels you want but this is where people are going to be physically talking to one another so use your discretion and decide then team and staff now this is what i like to have always in my teams this will be unaccessible by people that are on your team uh, or people that aren't on the team so for example team chat I want to make sure that no one, that everyone can't view it, so it'll only be visible to the people that I allow. So for example, if I want to allow the comp team to access this, they can access it and send messages so that only them and whatever other roles you add can talk in team chat. And I just put, you know, important business info, blah, blah, blah. This is where your team will be talking. And then same thing for announcements. You want to make sure that the only people that can make announcements um, or even see it for that matter are whoever you give the permission to for example team leads if you want them to be able to you can put send messages and view channel and all of that stuff and that's what and you see there's this little private limited icon that's what that means so that not everybody can see that and if I go in here let me show you if I select the role of let's say a community member then I can't see it you see it doesn't show up anymore and so I'm not able to view that, so I don't even know it's there. So let me disable that, and we're back to this. Now that's all the certain, the uh, I mean, channels that you want to have. You can really go crazy. You can add whatever you want. You can leave out whatever you want. This is just kind of the baseline that I added. Also, I like to add these little fancy like lines and stuff, like equal signs, and then this like straight line, just so it looks special. So it's not just like welcome, because this looks a lot cleaner. And then also I like to add these little bars here um, so that it looks cleaner and yeah let me fix the spelling to that there we go and that's all you really need for that um, you can tweak some things change some things but overall I think it's pretty good so let's go into roles so go to server settings and roles and then this is where you're gonna want to have the roles now I have an owner role management head mod team lead scout moderator then a bunch of team roles and then the community now these are the main ones you want to have you want to have the owner role or like leader role um, you can change it to like whatever you want and you want to pick a color that's noticeable so that people will know you are the leader you know you're in charge and they have to obey what you what you say and whatever and as you can see it shows up right here as I'm the owner in the server then the next thing is management for any managers that you have as you can see there's no one else in the server so it's a zero but any managers or management team that you have you want to give them that those are the people that are making the decisions and helping you make yeah helping you make decisions head moderator this is the the moderator that's basically in charge so you want to have moderators that are controlling like what happens like banning and kicking people or giving them warnings or enforcing the rules of the server these aren't necessarily like team moderators they're more just discord moderators people that can like make sure everyone's following the rules the rules in the server itself and not sending links in the lounge and stuff like that the head moderator is just the person that's in charge of that and they can decide who's moderators and stuff then you want to have team leads 
which of the people that are on the team and they're in charge. So let's say you have the comp team lead, they're in charge of all the competitive players and they decide, you know, like they're in charge of making sure that the comp team is playing good and making sure they play all their tournaments. Then the team lead of the content creators is making sure that the content creators are editing and uploading pretty frequently and all that. And etc. You can have a, t a, a team lead for creative and VFX just to make sure everybody like is in order and not slack. Now another thing you want to have is scouts. Scouts are people that look for talent and are constantly looking at the submissions in their like watching the videos and finding people that could potentially join. This is really important because especially the management and owners, they're not gonna have that much time to look for players. So you wanna make sure you can find some scouts that are willing to look for players. Now we already went over moderators. Comp team is obviously the role that the competitive players get. Content creator role is what the content creators get. Creative is for the creative warriors. And then VFX, GFX is for anybody that's making graphics or videos. And then you just wanna have a basic community role so that you can give to people that are talking. And if you go to overview, this is just what the, the server looks like right now. I just named it team template and then I just uploaded this like icon. Speaking of which, leave a like. Honestly guys, that's really the basics of starting a Discord server. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. But like I said, let's get to 300 likes and comment down below what video you idea you want next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.